Thank you so much. Uh, I'm uh, so happy to be here and thank you uh, for select all those amazing projects. It's uh, super happy to see that we are not alone thinking together how we can evolve supply chain. And this is wonderful. And those kind of challenges uh, help to see what is happening around the world in the different parties of supply chain. So first of all, thank you so much uh, for giving uh, this opportunity and uh, to, to do it uh, possible. So uh, I am Christina, I'm CEO and co-founder of Usyncro. Mainly, I have been working in logistics for more than 20 years, suffering a fragmented process firsthand, no? So in, in order to make some uh, context, uh, the problem is that there are many stakeholders, not only private stakeholders like importers, exporters, forwarders, ocean companies, airlines, ports, airports, insurance companies, banks, but also there is public stakeholders in each country, customs authorities, sanitary authorities, and, and this data transfer and document sharing among all the stakeholders that each one has its own system and those systems are disconnected is a nightmare. Uh, you have an inform that estimates that the 20% of the transport cost is due to this inefficient process, no? that is paper-based with tons of emails and, and disconnected. No? So we decided uh, to build a platform that synchronizes all the stakeholders, but thinking global, that is, uh, the solution cannot be in, in only one country. We need to collaborate together to build global solutions that uh, being collaborative with other local solutions can make supply chain more resilient. No? Our platform is multimodal because at the end, the uh, seal, shipping line didn't arrive the goods to your destination and the, and the plane didn't pick up the goods from your warehouse. No? So it's a combination of transport mode that needs to be transparent. Also nowadays, the data is gold. So the data governance is in hands of our customer. This is something super important. We have been thinking about the data governance, the semantic of the data, in order to be also the systems integrable. Because if not, there are going to be several platforms in different countries that are going to, to make this almost more difficult to connect in, in between each other. No? And the platform is completely open the customer decide if they want to connect to other solutions to make the puzzle work for their business. So is the customer the one who decides which is the mix of technology combinations that they need, okay? So using the, the platform, we reduce the 30% of the transaction cost, the 60% of time spent handling and coordinating the shipments, and also reduce the 80% of paper. So we have been working in that for six years, and uh, we, we uh, work from the beginning with blockchain and artificial intelligence that now and nowadays are trendy, but six years ago is not so uh, indirect uh, to see that uh, this uh, technology are, are going to, to be the perfect solution for the supply chain pain points, traceability, transparency, automatization of different uh, manual tasks. No? So to highlight some of our solutions, we, we are uh, well, in, in, inside our platform, we can make electronic documents uh, in, to avoid paper, uh, or for example, we can issue electronic EFPL, not only from the electronic document, but also connected the digital identity of each one who handles the, the document that is also based in blockchain. Well, working with authorities, we have developed uh, artificial intelligence neuronal networks to suggest statistic codes for customs clearance, to detect anomalies in between documents and declarations, also to see double use uh, goods for military and civil purposes. So technology can help us to have a more transparent uh, global trade indeed. And for example, for perishables, we uh, are uh, in, in working with infrastructures in order to see what are the goods that are entering or going out their facilities uh, uh, in order to help us to, well, to help customers to develop business abroad. That this is something also important because nobody is to, uh, going to use 
technology because it's trendy. They are going to use technology because they have the business efficient process and, and make business uh, together. And also we have shown that interoperativity is possible. We have been connected with other blockchain platform in Egypt, that is CargoX, in order to show that we can collaborate together, that this is, I think, the key word worldwide. But, well, let's say our operational people is not very technological, so we need to help them. And we have managed to uh, streamline this by doing digital work. A digital corridor is a shipment between two, two points with all the stakeholders connected. But of course, we cannot do it alone. We have signed agreements with global uh, associations, with different associations of stakeholders, importers, exporters, forwarders, in order to help us to open digital corridors in between different countries to show that we can streamline the flow. So we have managed to sit in the same table in order to push these digital corridors forward. So we have digital corridors for pharma products, for sea shipments, air shipment, uh, pharma products, and like I said, also for disaster humanitarian digital corridors, sustainable digital corridors by using, for example, the train in order to get out from the road tracks and to help customers to save and to develop business together. So thank you so much. Collaboration is key and supply chain moves the world. Thank you.